This is it then. Billy Joe Saunders putting his WBO super middleweight title on the line. The undefeated man from Hatfield, just north of London, going up against from St. Helens, just outside of Liverpool, Martin Murray, going for a world title tilt for the fifth time. But remember what he did against Golovkin, took him into the 11th round at a time when Golovkin was knocking over people for fun. Yeah, I agree. I didn't think he'd done enough to, to, to take the Avon up the fight, but I thought he beat Martinez. And, and I've just noticed Billy Joe Saunders' corner working on a little tiny nick, little tiny cut on the top of his, his forehead. Um, obviously, wasn't enough to, to, for us to notice during the round, but it's not pouring, it's not seeping too much with blood, but there must have been a little nick there because the cutsman had a swab on it. There was a bit of blood on the cut, so maybe a little clash of heads when they were coming close. Uh, still, Murray is uh, employing this tactic of uh, sitting back, fainting, dropping back, drawing Saunders on. Now he's coming forward, and now he's starting to walk onto a couple of those jabs. Saunders looks to bring the backhand into play again. But, uh, a switch up here from Murray, looking to get on the front foot, but not throwing, and that's allowing Saunders to sit behind that jab and you don't want to get Billy Joe Saunders in a comforting place like that he's so comfortable on the back foot throwing out that jab bringing in the left hand off the back of it but well, he has to make Saunders way if Saunders can have it his own way all night I don't think he's going to get bored I don't think he's going to switch off you know, he, he's, on, he's on the ball tonight he's got to be forced to work hard Billy Joe Saunders for Martin Mully to have any chance in this fight Working in the uppercut there as well, Saunders, who does look comfortable. Again, you have to make Billy Joe Saunders work early if you're expecting to do anything later on in the fight with him, because in his rhythm like that, he'll land and he'll land, he'll gain more confidence. So once he's comfortable, he likes it all his own way. And we've seen that at every level, British level, European level, world level. Once Billy Joe Saunders jogs to a comfortable lead. Break, break. People say he fades a little bit in fights. I don't think he does. I think he thinks, well, I've built up enough of a lead here. I can just sit back and uh, put it all in the bank and take it easy for the rest of the fight. And if, as I said right at the start of this fight, if Martin Murray is not there or thereabouts at the midway point, it's very hard to see how he's going to pull out the win. Break, break. One step back. See Murray having a little moan to the referee about the head. And, and you know, it's fight is more to the referee. I don't always agree with it, but he's right what he's saying, you know. No punches. Saunders isn't throwing the head in, he's not head button. He's just putting it in a place where it's making it completely uncomfortable for Martin Murray to, 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 to be. You know, he's got to get up the way. The good left hand from Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, set up by that lead right as well. A lovely jab. Bringing the, the backhand in off the back of it. Yeah, for another one there, and Murray saw it coming. He's getting pushed back here, Murray. It was a nice one too, and that was what the corner was asking for. Jordan around, Jordan the interval. Mark Tibbs was asking Billy Joe Saunders for the one two. Lovely combination. Oh, Gone away with one. Again, son, on the target, on the target. Crispy, crispy, crispy. See you again, son. Don't rush it. the deck, and he takes another one of those right hooks around the back of the guard. This to me, I can see a man who's who's feeling his age in there in Martin Murray tonight. You know, there's not really much coming back at the moment. There's, when he's trying to throw a shot, he's falling in with them. He's overreaching. And he's being caught and counters by Billy Joe Saunders, who's looking sharp. Beautiful left uppercut, sliding in there as well. You know, the jab is now starting to really fire for Billy Joe. It's very thorough and methodical from him, isn't it? And as you say, less and less coming back from Martin Murray. This is as un-Martin Murray as I've ever seen him. That's okay. So round eight. The rounds are getting away from Martin Murray. Who, uh, yeah, there's the heads all getting close. It really is getting pretty rough and untidy in there. 
I mean, Sergio said that he's got to try and go in there and be the bully boy. I mean, maybe if Murray can turn this into some, some kind of street fight. I see Greg don't punch, OK? He might give him just a chance because he's not winning anything this way. And again, lovely work. He looks so much sharper, so much faster tonight yeah, than his opponent, Billy Joe. Starts to find the target yeah. now, starts to, to step, the, step the gears up a little bit, put his foot on the gas. Well, Murray is as tough as a lump of granite. He'll just take this and keep coming back for more. But, uh, this is the, sorry, this is the type of fight that Murray needs. Yeah. This is what, what he needs to have a chance of winning. But it's surely too late in the day already. And again, he does take some punishment when he goes in. Oh, that's real. There was a couple of low ones just before that from Murray, you know, and I was going to mention there's a couple of low ones that Billy Joe Saunders didn't open his mouth about it. Oh, nice shot. Murray has just a lovely record. He's walked through it, though. We're going to have to hold on here. That's so brave, isn't it, Martin Murray? That's uh, never been in question, but... He is really on the receiving end of what is turning into a really rough brawl now. And uh, Saunders, look how cocky and confident he looks. Got two, two body shots, good combination from, from Billy Joe Saunders. This time, as Murray drops the glove, Saunders does accept the invitation. One step, one step. Let him out. Just took a step back and then another step back when those two punches landed there, Martin Murray. You see the grimace in his face and the right, left up a cut there from, Matt, from Billy Joe Saunders. King Saunders can smell the blood here. There it is, the head again. Murray just can't deal with that at all, but yeah, he's really stepping it up. There was no measuring there from Billy Joe Saunders. Just needs to turn the screw here, Billy Joe Saunders. Martin Murray's not looking in a good place at the moment. Another uppercut, not quite a clean connection there. The jolt ahead, though, of Murray. There he gets countered, Murray. And um, he is breathing so hard and heavy, and Saunders is just roughing him up and beating him up at the moment. That's a nice right uppercut there, second and one from Billy Joe Saunders. I tell you, the accuracy tonight from Billy Joe. I mean, as I say, that it misses, but I mean, the accuracy overall has been exemplary. Good <laughs> man, and uh, Murray is getting just battered around the ring here. He really is halfway through this tenth round, but it's been no better than the previous night for Martin Murray. He looks very, very tired. Body shot on the end there as Murray defended upstairs. Saunders found the gap downstairs, missed with the uppercut there, Saunders. We're down inside the last 30 seconds here. And the only discussion to be had is how wide are those scorecards going to be? Steve Gray, Marcus McDonald, Bob Williams, the three judges at ringside. It should be a pretty comfortable decision and an easy one. Yeah, Billy Joe's not going to try and do anything silly here because he respects Martin Murray as well. And you can be sure Martin Murray respects Billy Joe Saunders. Well, it's all over. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Steve Gray and Bob Williams both scored the bout 120 to 109. Marcus McDonald scored this contest 118 to 110. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated and still the WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Billy Joe Saunders. It was never in doubt. The two warriors having a good conversation at the end there you know there is huge respect between the two of them martin murray if that is the final dance for him well he goes out with his head held high but billy joe saunders moves on to what could be a huge 2021 for him